Hey everyone, my name is Olav, and today I will show you how to do mechanical rigging in Blender. I will show you both how to rig and animate this engine. And if you want the engine, plus a bonus tutorial on how to rig the cylinders on the back of the engine, you can find that in the link below. It's good value, and you support the channel. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so here we have the engine. And when we go into rendered view, you can see that we already have the materials and the lighting set up. So let's get uh, straight into the rigging. Let's go back to solid view. And we're going to start off by hiding all of the objects that will not be connected to the armature. So uh, press H to hide. And then select the cylinder. Press tab for edit mode. And then select the face on the back and press Shift S to move the 3D cursor to the selected face. And then tab to go back to object mode. And then press numpad 1 to go to the front view. And then Shift A and add the armature. And then press R, Y, then 90 to rotate the bone 90 degrees on the Y axis. And then press S to scale the bone down. And then we need to set the uh, armature viewport display to in front, which is the equivalent to X-ray in previous versions. And then press G, then X to grab the bone on the X-axis. And then press Tab for edit mode. And then let's go to uh, Y-frame mode. And then press E, then X to extrude on the X-axis. Make sure it's in the middle of the cylinder, so G then X to grab the extrusion. And then numpad 7 for top view. And then E then X once again to extrude it on the X axis. And then G then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And then we need to go to the front view once again, which is the side view of the engine. To make sure it's in the middle of the cylinder. And then G, then X to grab the uh, bone on the X axis. Okay, so now we have the uh, first armature. So let's go back to object mode by pressing Tab. And then we will add a second armature that interacts with the first armature. So select the uh, wheels. And then let's select this uh, cylinder. And press Shift S to move the through the cursor to the selected face. Press Tab to switch back to object mode. And then Shift A and add the second armature. And then press number 7 and press G, then Y to grab the bone on the Y axis. And let's try to set it in the middle. And then press number 1 to go to the front view. And then press R, Y, then minus 90 to rotate the bone minus 90 degrees on the Y axis. And then press tab for edit mode. And let's grab the tip of the bone on the x-axis, so G, then X. And then extrude, so press E, then X to extrude on the x-axis. And the length of this bone doesn't really matter. So let's go back to object mode. And then select the first armature. Go to post mode, which enables us to add bone constraints. And then select the child bone and then add inverse kinematics which enables the uh, child bone to have influence over the parent bones and then select the uh, second armature and then select the second bone as the pole target which enables us to control the first armature with the second armature okay so let's select the uh, second bone and uh, Lock it on the X, Y, and Z axis. And then increase the stretch to 1. And lock the X, Y, and Z axis for the last bone as well. And now when we select the uh, second armature. And uh, rotate it on the uh, Y axis. You can see that we have the uh, engine animation or piston animation. So now we're going to connect the objects to the bones. But first, let's save the project. So go to Save As, give the file a name, and then enter to save. Okay, so let's start off by connecting the wheels to the uh, second armature. So hold it Shift, and then press Control P, 
and then set the wheels parent to the bone. And then let's connect the rest of the objects to the first armature. So hold and shift, select the armature, and then go into post mode. And then press Alt A to deselect every bone, and then select the bone at the front, and then Control P and set it parent to the bone. And then let's set the last object parent to the uh, bone in the middle. So hold and shift and select the armature, press Alt A to deselect all the bones, and then select the bone in the middle, and press Control P and set it parent to the bone. Okay, and then go back to object mode. And then let's select the uh, second armature. Now, when we select the second armature and rotate it on the y-axis, you can see that it's ready to be animated. And it works. So let's save before we continue. So we'll file, save as, let's uh, click on the plus sign and then uh, save blend file. And then we can unhide the rest of the objects. And we already have the second armature selected. So uh, let's just see what it looks like in rendered view. And then you can press R, then Y to rotate it on the Y-axis. And now we're going to keyframe that rotation. So uh, press I to keyframe. And then let's go to the last frame. Let's set it to uh, 400. And then let's set the rotation to 5000 degrees and then I to keyframe the rotation value. And as you can see, we have the animation. Now let's set up the render. So let's go to the render settings. And you can use both the CPU or the GPU. I'm going to use the GPU. And then let's go to the output settings and select a folder for the final animation. I'm going to create a new folder and give the folder a name and then select the folder, give the animation a name and then enter. And then let's render the animation. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want the file plus the bonus cylinder tutorial, the link is in the description. Thank you guys for watching and uh, subscribe.